Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we'll learn how to copy a text from a text field uh, in JavaScript. At the end we'll be able to have this result, so a simple text field where you can write anything, let's say hello YouTube, and with simple action of a button you, you just copy it. Let's say we can open any text editor file after and just paste the result here. So easy as that and you will see it's pretty really straightforward. So let's get started. Uh, open first your favorite um, text editor. For me, it's going to be Sublime Text. We'll save a new file. Uh, I already have a folder for that and we'll just call it index.html. We'll do everything with, uh, with HTML. I have uh, Emmet, which is a, a quite handy snippet to have with uh, Sublime Text. It's helpful, so you can type, for example, HTML tab, and then it creates the whole structure of a, a basic HTML file. For the title, let's just call that uh, copy to clipboard. It's quite the goal of the tutorial. Uh, then in the body, we can directly attack the, um, the HTML code. So I will I'll go quite fast on this one. I hope you have the, the basic knowledge of HTML. So I will just create a, a div element called container. Uh, this will help to just wrap all of those three elements together. Then uh, we'll have a simple title. Let's use h1 for that. We'll also have the, the name copy to clipboard. Um, I just have JS just to be sure that we're speaking about a JavaScript tutorial here. Then we'll have an input, an input field. I go again input tab and then they pre-filled me with the type and the name. So for the type, it's going to be a type text. We want to have a text to copy and then the name, it uh, doesn't matter really, but we can just put my input field. That's fine for the moment. We'll also add a placeholder element. Uh, this is not supported in every browser, but it's still good to have. Uh, so type here, let's say. And finally, we'll have an ID. Uh, we'll use this ID as a, as kind of a name for the element uh, to target via JavaScript after. So my input, and then we can have a button element. It's going to be for the, the click here. This is also going to have an, imp, uh, an ID. It's going to be my button here. And, um, and that's it for the moment. We can just have that as a name, like copy, copy to clipboard or something, clipboard. Perfect, so that's for the HTML. Let's just open this file. I'm just gonna go find it somewhere in my stuff. So it's really ugly and I don't really like to work with uh, with kind of an ugly file. I think it's quite boring. So I just prepared for you um, some CSS text, so a bit of styling. Uh, for this matter of the tutorial, it's not really worth um, going through it. So you can just copy paste it. Uh, remember that this file is on GitHub on link on the description. So feel free to just copy paste it. So basically uh, I'm just having a, another font here. I'm just changing the background to one, two, three, four, five, six, which is kind of a, a nice blue color. Uh, my container, I'm just adding kind of a, um, a padding on the top or here a margin uh, of 30% uh, of the windows height. And for the H1, I'm just make it smaller, uh, uppercase. Um, for the input, make it bigger a little bit and a bit more padding. And finally, I have an, uh, the button, I just changed the color and an overstate. So just save that and just refresh it and magically you, you have it perfectly like that. Uh, I don't target any classes here except for this one. So H1 is the, the raw classes here. It's better for you if you, you can just add the class here say for example, title or something, it's, it's a bit more clear. But for the sake of this tutorial, it's fine like that. Anyway, let's just jump to the, to the focus of the, um, the tutorial, the JavaScript part. So we'll go at the end of, uh, of our, uh, of our um, body tag and just put a script tag here. We'll do everything in line. I think it's, it's quite easy for this example. Uh, the type is gonna be a, a JavaScript text and um, it's gonna just have one function here. So we'll just type a function and we'll call that copy to clipboard. Clip, whoop, board. Yeah, so we just open and close it, perfect. For this function, it's gonna have a four step 
it's quite easy. The first one is to get the um, the HTML element that will store into a variable. So the first one is the input field. We'll need the, the text content from it. So we just go uh, variable input field and then document dot get element by ID. Uh, remember we have an ID here, my input, so we can just put my input. Um, we can close this one and we can do the same variable for the button. We'll, we'll change the state of the button, so the text of the button at the end. It's quite good for the user. Um, so anyway, document dot gets element by ID, my button. Perfect. Um, the second part is very easy. It's just to get the to ask the the browser to focus on the uh, input field. For, so for that, we'll go with uh, input field dot uh, select. So we'll actually mimic the select part of it. So it will the browser will just go over it and then select this field, and then we can ask to just e execute the comment. So document dot exec comment uh, and in this is going to be simply copy so you have multiple comments that are available so we'll just use copy for this one just be sure that this only works um, for internet explorer it only works after internet explorer 9 so just be aware of that and finally we'll um, we'll change the state the inner html of the button and just say to the user hey your text is copied so it's quite good like that. We can save that, but now nothing will happen because we need to just target the button here. We just need to say a new function here on click. So obviously when the button is clicked, what do you have to do? You have to just run the this function that we just created. So copy to clipboard and you just run this one. So it's quite logical. Huh? Just save this one. We refresh the page and say uh, not hello YouTube because we have it uh, already. So let's say just the basic hello world uh, like this copy. We see that it has selected the, the text. We change the, I mean the, the, the button inner HTML changed. And now we can just jump to, let's say text edit. I can delete this one. I can use command V or just simply go like this paste and hello world. That's the title. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope uh, it can help. As I said before, the, all this um, source code is available on GitHub. Feel free to download it and just uh, have fun with it. Thank you very much for following this tutorial. Feel free to hit the like button if you liked it. And good luck with your uh, JavaScript project.